generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where we should improve efficiency by installing a dark control system. In the previous episode we didn't do that and as such we only managed to get in the dormitories a little bit down here and when I say a little bit I mean a lot of green energy but overall we progressed on quite nicely. In this episode we have to finish off the kitchen and the canteen and then I would very much like to fin uh, well, start and indeed finish off the visitation rights which although it says visitation is actually a lot more than that. Let me just go ahead and uh, place this room in here. So visitation, clicky clicky, draggy draggy, and there we go. And that is that built. I'm not entirely sure whether I want to make a a visitor room with the standard visitor tables or the one that just blocks people off. I'm fairly confident it's going to be the first one, but we will have to see how it goes. Either way, in terms of cash, we have 18,000 generic units of currency, and we're getting, well, at the moment it says, uh, one, well, 170 quid, but that's not true, because if we check out our finance here, we are exporting power, so every day we'll get some money from that as well, because, well, you can see the batteries are charging and indeed uh, doing quite well. Uh, compensation there is currently 2,520, no, two, yeah, that's pretty good good so overall pretty happy with that let's go ahead and see what other grants we can complete actually because I need a little bit more cash in order to put in the kitchen in the canteen uh, a couple of comments actually from the previous episodes people said I've managed to place the canteen over the kitchen that's not true this it says canteen there is simply the quirk of when you place like the 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 objects down or so the rooms down it uh, puts the thing on the right and it just happens to line up with that so if there's a bit of confusion there then I can sort of understand especially for uh, newer places players and viewers. Uh, in dormitories, people recommending we put in some windows. Good idea. We'll do that at some point. Probably not a double one, probably just a single window uh, either side. Uh, also, some questions regarding the use of the toilets and the showers. Because we don't have any sp particular shower time, can you use the showers? Well, yes. The toilets and the showers can be used at any point by the inmates. Shower time is just a dedicated thing that you say, yes, you now have to go there and use that shower, whereas it's just open for them to use whenever they like. Anyway, let's go ahead and, to be fair, if I buy some more guards and then do the CCTV monitor, I will get the MaxSec Infrastructure Grant done, which is 20 grand, and then probably pick up something like Cell Block C, which again is another fairly decent one there. A lot of people have been recommending we get farming sooner rather than later, and that's that's all well and good, but I, it's going to be a learning experience. I'd rather get prisoners first because obviously you need to. I think well, I think you have to have prisoners in order to for them to work. But we'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and I'm going to focus on sack it. Let's go ahead and do the MaxSec infrastructure grant because we are going to be getting prisoners probably in the next episode. So we're just going to increase the uh, guards that we have here up to twenty. There we go. I'm not going to fire anybody uh, straight away or anything like that. Let's go over to our security room there, over to our utilities, and then I want a CCTV monitor, and then I want one, two, three, four. I think it's six cameras in total. I think it's that. I think it's that. I'll wait until they build it, and there we go, and then I'm just going to cancel the construction of it. So we've got uh, 20 grand there, which is pretty good. We now have a couple of other grants that we can do. Basic farming is to hire the farm worker staff, correctly build a functional vegetable allotment, correctly build a functional fruit orchard, and correctly build a functional fruit farming field. Actually, if I go to quick build, are these in there? We have... We have lakes, rivers... Laundry libraries, all of these. We have a flower garden, hedge maze. There's a flower garden there. Hmm. So, unless it, it could be in here, I just can't. A quick scan over it, I can't see it. Okay, we'll probably build it when uh, we crack on with the other stuff. Alright, well in terms of grants then, we're going to pick up probably cell block C. Yeah, cell block C, which is a 10 grand advance payment. That takes up to 40 grand, but obviously we are losing cash now, so we have really lit a fire under this. Let's go over to our objects and then to the bench orc, and these are going to have the wooden benches all the way along here. I was going to clone it, but the problem with cloning is that basically, um, you know, we will be copying lights. Although, I'm just looking quickly at where the lights are. I think if I did clone this, it probably would be alright. But anyway, it's the way I've done it. Let's just go ahead and 
crack on with this one. We're using wooden tables, wooden benches, or also putting some sort of fire prevention system inside the uh, <laughs> inside the building has been uh, requested, and I fully agree. Oh, hang on, see that? That uh, didn't place as I wanted it. I can click and hold like this and move down because it'll only place the objects in areas where there's a space for it, but we have got a bit of a space in the middle there where I have to let go and then continue on to there. Right, that is now done. This is where I said I was going to put the toilets in. I am going to put the toilets there uh, in here, in this building, but probably not the way that's laid out. I'm not overly fond of that. Uh, we should improve the efficiency by installing a door control system. Uh, let's check out the uh, right hand side here, visit a table. What sort of arrangement could we have these tables at? I guess we could have one, two, three. That does seem to fit in, so let's place these. These are 300 apiece though, so it's a little bit expensive. I've got a little bit of a gap at the top there, it doesn't much matter, that's fine. And uh, those are now in. Okay, so we have our canteen pretty much sorted. The kitchen is similar. I need to build more stuff in the kitchen. This is not going to be a full complete of the kitchen, you understand. Uh, just complete for the amount of prisoners we're going to have in here. In terms of the placement of the fridges and freezers... Actually, there's no such thing as a fridge in the game. But the freezers I'll place like that. And I'll put a couple on the other side... Like that, and then I think we'll... I mean, we'll probably end up just joining a couple in the middle there. Anyway, we'll obviously connect that up to the grid, and I'll do that by just running a cable like so. While I'm here, I'm also going to go over to objects, and then to the spring... Is it sprinkler? Yeah, a sprinkler here. And a sprinkler will go in either side there, either side there, and then most likely in the middle, because I think we're going to have... Actually, don't want to have it like that because I think we're going to have the things lined up in the middle. Something like that should suffice. So there we are. Water, small pipe, and we'll run that. I guess we'll connect those up like that, and then run the water pipe to the back, just so it's not it's not connected to these two, just in case. I also have to put in heating as well, which is something I have been uh, forgetting, but we will have to have that before we get prisoners, so there you are. Daily cash flow, you can see, is now pretty good. Um, a lot of it is to do with our green energy, and in fact, our exports are flying up. I could obviously place more if I wanted to. Um, I know there's some questions regarding that. Could you just load the game, do what we've done with grants, get this built, and then sit there and wait for the cash to go up. Yes, yes, you can you can do that. Uh, it's also time we increase efficiency by installing a door control system. So we're going to go over to walls, and let's check out these uh, stalls here. This is going to be our, our bathroom, and it probably still is going to be the bathroom, but I don't know if I want to change the layout in some way, shape, or form. I like the idea of the prisoners coming in and then straight over, whereas having something like that, I don't know is... Is that like a, a good idea, having it like that? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Certainly that layout is better because then along here I can place like some phone booths and such. That would that would work out, I think. I think maybe a toilet entrance there and then you've got like all of your toilets back here, you see. And then around this side you could have quite easily like loads of sinks and stuff. Uh, there's a lot more room that I've wasted, actually, now that I think of it, so we can probably just have it as, say, I like a, maybe a double entrance going in, but then that, although it seems a bit cramped. Do we need the room for anything else? I'm not too sure. What I am sure of is that it is time we increase efficiency by installing a door control system. Um, Probably that. Probably that is the way we'll go, and then we can have, let's say, sinks on, uh, on this corner here, so... Something like that. How much space have we lost? We've lost a little bit of space, and we've not really gained much, but I can put, like, say, sinks and um, hand dryers and such there, and maybe we just go straight like that. Although, if I do that, I can put the phone booths along there, and it'll look a lot better. Okay, we'll, we'll go for something like that, because... Uh, well, we can, and I have to make a decision at some point. So let's just uh, put these in. So this is going to be, as I said, our uh, toilets in the canteen. I will probably... Um, am I going to have to... I'm probably going to have to just plan it off myself by building it 
how many is it along from there? It's one across, straight there. That opens up, and then it is that. And that is that correct? It is about right. And then something, something dark control system. Let's go wooden walls and we'll build across and along. And obviously put in everything that is required. I could potentially put in a. I could be. Yeah, I could potentially put in the boiler in here. But having it, uh, yeah, having it in there where we very much uh, often get fights, I'm not entirely confident is the right choice. Let me just get rid of a lot of planning that was in and around here like that. Um, yes, we do want a double door there. That reminds me, actually. Walls and doors, doors, and then over to a large jail door, placing that there. There was also some requests to change the colour of the doors, just for variation. Um, yeah, I mean, we could do. We could have had the yellow doors or, or whatever. Um, I, oh, but I should point out, we haven't actually got any protective custody in this thing because it's going to be a low to medium risk facility, so I decided... Um, that I didn't really want it. Decided internally, I should point out. I didn't really mention it <laughs> in any of the videos, but that's why I'm mentioning it now. But anyway, let's just lock these doors open here. And uh, door control system. And there we go. Right, over to our objects and then to the toilet. And we're going to place the toilets in either side of this canteen like so. Oops, there's a little bit of extra lewage involved. I don't know if lewage is a word, but it is now. And then I think we'll go for... Well, here's the thing. It doesn't actually... It's a shower head, floodlights, no. Where are the lights that I want? Uh, sink and mirror, that's it. That's what I wanted in here. But I can see they're really, they're really like, scruffy. They're all like rusted and stuff. I'm not really a big fan of that, but they're going to go in anyway. We'll place the uh, sinks in like so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't need an equal sink to toilet ratio because, as we know, people are filthy and often don't wash their hands, although they should. Uh, and then we... Uh, I think there's hand dryers. Let me check out hand dryers. Yes, there are hand dryers. So I'm going to place one, two... Uh, two hand dryers, maybe. We'll put three hand dryers in. Why not? Why not? So it is one, two, three. And then I'm going to go back over here. Oh, little bit of a game stutter there. Apparently, I've got hand -da 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 -da, uh, for that one. Let's go for a sink, and we have no. That's not the bathroom sink. Mirroring a sink and mirror. There we are, and we'll place those in. Over to utilities, and then luckily where these are in, we can just run that pipe work like so, and that is pretty much a job done. Okay, so for the kitchen and the canteen, obviously we need some sort of tile. I am not entirely sure what tiles and flooring we're going to use. Most likely the white tiles. Uh, we're not going to have marble. I would like ceramic, but it's just far too expensive for for this place. So I think instead what we'll do is have white tiles in the kitchen, like so. And realistically, it's going to be the same in this bathroom bit. And what do I want out here? We could just use the standard. Could just use the standard stuff, couldn't we? Maybe mosaic. Would mosaic look all right? I'm just trying to get a bit of a difference in the canteen than anywhere else. It's not bad. We've got reclaimed rubber. We've got this wooden dock stuff. Rubber tiles creating reclaimed rubber tiles. Forty a square meter, whereas mosaic is 10 so apparently using reclaimed materials is not all that good not for cash wise anyway hmm i don't think reclaimed rubber in there would work out i'm thinking reclaimed rubber is going to be used in the in the yard but i haven't yet decided um also just realized that the oh hang on no i thought the planning was wrong but it's actually just the orders of uh cleaning it's time we increase the efficiency and install a door control system what I do want to install, though, is the water in there. So the canteen looks fine. I'm happy with that. You know what? Maybe just get the rest of it in white tile. The rest of it in white tile might look all right. But I think I'm going to risk... Try, I'm going to try for some mosaic. Let's give it a go. Well, put it this way. I'm putting mosaic tiles down now. I will not be changing these, even if they look absolutely terrible. The simple fact of the matter is, I don't have the cash to do so. 
<laughs> so there you are. This is a big difference from what we normally do when we build prisons. Normally the flooring is the very last thing I place. But, uh, you know, I thought with the cash we have, it would be nice to change things up a little bit because there's always a comment regarding it. Anyway, so we have that in there. We have to build a common room with a pool table, TVs and phone booths. At least five phone booths. Well, that's a very simple thing. So over two objects and then phones and then we will build one, two, three and then I'm going to be a maverick, four, five, six. One more than is required, but that is in now. I want to build a common room with pool table and two TVs, so... That is going to be in here, so common room, I'm going to designate that as a common room, I'm then going to place in the required things, which is a pool table, hang on, zoom in, tennis, table, football, gym mat, pool table, uh, it was one pool table and two TVs, one, two, and then cancel that and then remove the room, as I said, this is simply for grant purposes, but it allows me to then get another grant, which is going to be, I mean, what should we go for? Reform through education initiative is never going to happen. Well, it probably will, but it'll take a while. Overproduction, no. We're going to go for basic farming to just put that on the list, all right? That's why I've uh, built that. So, for the very basic stuff for prisoners, uh, what do we need? We need a working kitchen. We need a working canteen. We have those now. We need uh, the dormitories and places for the prisoners to be. Yes, we have to have some yard time. Yes, we have to have some visitation. Technically, we don't have to have visitation, but we have got vis uh, visitation. And then we have to have a common room, ideally. So, basically, is that it? Is that it? No, we need the common room and we need solitary. Common rooms, we're going to go on the back here, but I haven't yet built them. So, what is the best course of action? For a start, I'm going to place a... I'm going to place a staff door up here, actually. So, over to walls and doors, doors, staff door. That can go in there, and then I'll remove the planning for that. Those lights, this is still a bit of a problem. These lights get stuck in the walls for some reason, so they've been removed. But anyway, so most of that's placed in there. We've got our deployment set up for patrols in here, and I'm also going to do the same for blue patrols around this area. We're going to have a blue patrol set up like so, and I will assign A guard to that. Then we're gonna have another patrol that goes up and round like this. And I'm using this colour because it means that they don't then collide. And that'll be a dog handler in that one. There you go. Although I've got it the other way around in terms of colour. Blue for dog handler. <laughs> Magenta for dogs. Um Yeah, realistically we should stick with the same thing. It matters not, but it is going to slightly annoy me. So let's remove that. Remove the blue patrol. And then magenta. And I guarantee this convention that I'm setting up, I will totally forget about and ignore in about 30 seconds time. Right, those are now in. The mosaic flooring I am not a fan of. Uh, I don't think it goes very well with the table oak. I think I'm going to redo that with wooden flooring, but that would cost far, far too much money. So we are going to ignore that. Uh, 15 grand remaining, enough for me to go foundations, more, and then to the reclaimed wood. And then build in... At least one side over here. This is going to be our common room. Let me just double check over to measurement. And we can see that this is an 18. So we can have a single double door. Um, so, of, hang on. It would be walls and doors. Doors. Uh, double door. And I reckon that is about the middle. So click. And then we will measure and see just how right or wrong I am. Nine. Yep, that should suffice pathway back in and there we go obviously it's going to take a while for them to crack on build so you know we'll speed up to max speed and we're still getting cash as we progress on through this so it's not a not a huge issue i think uh what do, well what do we need now let's let's prioritize prisoners being in here so 
we I'm still I'm still not sure whether we are fully uh, supported with green energy. It depends on weather, obviously. But we are charging batteries and we are getting money. But then again, we're not using electricity because oh no, because I think I think I don't know if it just I don't know if it simulates the use of cookers and things like that. I think it's just it's on, and that's all you need. So yeah, so we should be okay. Anyway, let's prioritise. We need a working visitation, which we have, although there is currently no way in to the visitation. So I will increase efficiency and install a dark control system. No. 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 Where is it? Yeah, prison is missing a dark control system. I can right-click as much as I want. It's not doing anything. Anyway, walls and doors. Doors. And then doors again. And it will go in here. There we go. So prisoners have a way to get into this area. Deployment. And we'll go for... If I go for staff only there, people will still come in. That's not a problem. What I will do is have doors, visitor doors, and I'm going to visit a door in there. These rooms here obviously require doors as well, but I'm not entirely sure what these rooms are going to be yet. I think it's going to be probably... Maybe a ch this is probably going to be a big chapel. I'm probably going to delete that wall and make this as a large chapel. But I haven't yet decided on that. But over to deployment. Uh, we do have staff only that I could potentially set there. Well, I'm going to set that to staff only because it makes sense. The rest of it is also set. Uh, yeah, the rest of it is okay because I think visitors can still come through the staff only area. I mean, I can do that... I'll say it like that, and if the visitors if the visitors come in and go around this way, then we know it's fine. So we shall see. Let's go ahead at the back here. This is our common room, and I'm going to run in some utilities. Electrical cable, which is uh, running down the middle. We're just going to run it pretty much right to the middle there, and then run the power lines in. I'll probably have to run it further, but there you are. This is our solitary area. I'm not going to have a solitary area f at the very beginning. I don't see any great need for that. Um, but I do want to have this room and have this as a common room. So a common room will go in here. Obviously, it will require a certain number of features, including, but not limited, to pool tables. So one, two, three... Four. There's our pool tables. I want probably some TVs in the bottom here. Um, probably not too many is required. In fact, already that is more than I would have thought is necessary. We've got things like table tennis tables, computer stations, punch bags, arcade cabinets, etc. All of those could potentially go in there, but not at the moment because I just don't think it is needed. Let's run that down and... We're on 17 grand. Let's go ahead and check out regime. Standard procedure, put everything to free time, and then we'll work from there. Okay, actually sleep, maybe not. So we're going to sleep up until 5. Then we'll have a shower time, and then a free time. 2 hours of eat, work slash free time for 4 hours, and then a lock up, and then work slash free time for 2 hours, and then another eat, and then a bit more free time. I could potentially extend this work free time and get another hour each each way. And I think actually that's probably what we'll end up doing. But that's a standard that's the standardish regime there. In terms of our policy, solitary, I'm just gonna change everything to lockdown so far. Because I don't have I don't have any solitary area. Meal quantity variety, uh, meal quantity and variety is set to medium. Parole cutoff is a standard. Farming policy is continual. Planting is yes. Uh, crop type natural. Fertilizer, I haven't got any of that. I'll have to check the farming stuff out later on. But I believe that is the very basics that is required. Intake. Minsec. Fill capacity. 56 prisoners in 18 hours. Seven grand remaining. Over to windows. We've got cosy windows and all that. We're not going to have any of that. Any of that, none of that nonsense. And what I'm going to do is place these 
in here. These are the windows. These will then improve the rating of the cells. Which is not strictly necessary, but we do technically have cell quality ratings on. I'll check that out in but a moment. And there we go. I think that's all of those. There might be one or two missing. Over to planning. We'll get rid of all that planning because there's some bits in there. Uh, same for this. All of this I will remove. Naturally, there's a lot of the stuff that isn't finished, but it is what it is. And there we go. All right. What else do we need? Well, we do need a fence around here. That is, I think, for certain. So let's see. Let's just check the final stuff. Deployment. We have set up in terms of patrols, yes. Still haven't got any heating in. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the prisoners will be a bit chilly. Um, electric radiators were the, one of the things I really liked. We are running low on cash. Yes, yes we are. Yes we are. We can take out loans, that's not a huge issue. So we've got the majority in that I need. In terms of logistics and our temperature... It's freezing absolutely everywhere. Brilliant. Uh, let's check out what what uh, time is it? Uh, it is well, it's eight o'clock. It's spring and it's raining, so actually heating is not a huge issue. Um, room quality. We can see we have different room qualities here because they haven't placed everything, but the room quality is currently low. It's uh, grade three out of ten. We haven't got the cleared for transfer stuff on, which is why I haven't got things like graded for canteen. I just haven't done it. I haven't graded them. Um, same for the yard as well. We will put some more stuff in the yard, but if we've got things like minsec grading, you can see our grade is 110 of 250, but we're not doing the cleared for transfer where they move from one grade to the other. So grading is actually pretty much, it's not that mandatory. Um, actually, can it be not much mandatory? It either is or it isn't. If I turn off cell quality ratings, what does it actually turn off? Let's have a quick check. If we go over to this here, mm, you know, it, uh, it it doesn't turn it off, so that's that's a thing. Yeah. If enabled, prisoners will only be assigned to a cell of quality they deserve based on the behaviour. Poorly behaved prisoners will never be assigned to a high quality cell, even if there are no other cells available. If disabled prisoners will be assigned to any cell regardless of quality, but prisoners in cells low quality and average will be more resentful. Prisoners will stay or be upgraded to high quality cells if they have them. Well, we don't have. We're not going to have high quality cells. The cells are going to be the cells. Um. Cells, cells within cells. That's a bit of Blade Runner 2049 for you there. Right, job done. Okay, so we basically need heating. And we need it... We need it now. We needed it yesterday and the day before and many other days uh, aside from that. So what is the solution? The solution is to have probably water boilers. Let me pause it. Well, the solution is definitely have water boilers. We've uh, we're fairly up on how a water boiler works. It boils water, heat, etc. But where am I gonna put it? Well, I need to power the showers, and I need to power the I need to power showers, and I need to power the radiators. We need heat where the prisoners are going to be. Not necessarily the staff, because we haven't got staff needs on. So we need radiators in the cell block, we need radiators in the kitchen, we need radiators in the visitation, and we need radiators in the common room. So I think most likely the best place for a water boiler would be about there. Because then I could have one there and one there. This one will reach all the way to the left and around. Obviously, we'll have the same mirrored up the top as well. So, four water boilers in total. That'll then expand into the kitchen and the canteen and potentially to the visitation. Maybe that one will reach to these infirmary and stuff, but the problem is the distance. I don't know what the distance is because it just doesn't say because it's nice like that. What is the solution? I don't know. I also haven't got a scanner machine, but I didn't really plan on having one. I mean, it's quite easy to put in, but it's also... It's also a grander that I just don't need in my life. Uh, spending. Hmm. Transform Transforms have an input limit of 5,000. Wonder what we're currently getting. Power production, 3,000. But some of these are negative. I reckon that is more than 5,000 in all, all told. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. 
Anyway, I think then water boilers here. So over to walls and doors, fencing grass. I was going to use a wooden fence, but it's just not happening. It's not. It doesn't stick. It, it doesn't sit right with me that it, you know, is it's weird. Uh, this weird sort of not prison type of arrangement. I'm going to build across here. This is just the security you understand. To stop people having con getting contraband and things. I'll have to put doors in this, obviously. Um, and over here, this is where we'll have our bits where they go in and out. But we'll have to have the checkpoints. So I don't know where the inn will be. And here's our prisoners. There they are. Lots of prisoners coming in. And uh, it's time we increase our efficiency and install a door control system. Uh, <laughs> oh, good grief. Loads of stuff on there. Okay, I think we will leave it there for this episode. Not too bad at all in terms of progress. I'm quite happy. Next episode, then, I want to finish off the... Uh, grass and fencing and all the stuff around here. Maybe not the grass, actually. Um, I was going to build put all the grass around here and grass on there, but maybe not with the cash we have. Certainly finish off the walls, get all this set of stuff only for now. I want to then obviously get in some a couple of buildings here. I'll most likely remove some of this and have a small building here with the boiler, put all the stuff in for heat, and... Yeah, that's that's what we'll do. That's uh, how we've got to set up. And then once we have the prisoners settled and we know they're not kicking off and destroying everything at the drop of a hat, we'll look at some of the extra amenities and um, facilities. So things like, you know, the shop and the library and mailroom, etc. And I think also we'll probably focus sooner or later on the farming side of it. And that'll obviously... Uh, determine exactly what the deal is when it comes to uh, working and such and figure out, I'll have to figure out exactly how we're going to go in and out because I don't really like the idea of, I don't like the idea of entrances along here could have one way entrances but I think just on this side is probably the way forward, search them when they come in, search them when they go out I don't think we need both actually but we'll see we'll see how it goes, either way we're going to leave it there for now uh, as always, uh, comments in the comments and we will see uh, what we need to do and go from there <laughs> We have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.